Welcome back to Geeks Are Sexy. I'm Jason LaDuke, your host on the fourth Friday of every month, talking about business and how to be successful with your business here in Las Vegas. Our next guest is Shaytoya Stressing. She's a Las Vegas native and she knows all the ins and outs of business and working in Las Vegas. And it's a much different environment than you might think if you haven't been here very long or you're watching from somewhere else other than Las Vegas. So she's gonna tell us all about the business she has with her partner called KB Communications and how they can serve you and your business. So Shaytoya, welcome. Thanks for being here with us today. Yes, and Jason, thank you for having me. I'm pretty excited about being on the show today. I'm glad you were able to make it. We actually had another guest schedule, had an emergency, wasn't able to come, and Shay Toya was gracious enough to join us at the last minute. So thank you very much for, for pulling my ass out of the fire a little bit and not having to <laughs> not having to roll an old video like I do in the past. So, so, but tell us about growing up here in Las Vegas and how you and your partner met and how you decided to start a business together. Of course, thank you. Um, well, I was actually born here in Las Vegas. Um, so uh, as a child here, um, San Cafe station in the Rancho um, station or area was mm -hmm. actually the only thing out here. Her for this, um, <laughs> uh, and then Kevin and I actually went to the same elementary school. Um, so we so you guys have known each other that long. I didn't know that part of your story. <laughs> this is fascinating. <laughs> yeah. Go on. So we actually went to the same elementary school, um, and then also actually we met after high school. We ran back into each other. Mm -hmm. I was actually a cocktail server um, in a bar, mm -hmm. and so we ran back into each other when I was like 21. Okay. <laughs> so and then we hit it off from there. Nice. Um, and Very then nice. We decided to go into business with each other, um, and with that we just decided to. Um, I actually got introduced to another company, um, and that company actually showed me okay I don't want to clock a uh, clock in for a living um, so it did teach me hey Shatoya let's go ahead and you know get it yourself into a okay. business um, and then so Kevin actually seen the same opportunity but with him he thought we you know let's you know take K and B communications to the next level mm -hmm. um, his father was retiring um, so we decided to go ahead and do that um, and so, and then with my marketing skills and my computer skills, um, I ended up joining the force with him. Okay, cool. So, so tell us about what does Kevin do for the company and what do you do for the company? <laughs> um, so with Kevin, Kevin's more of like the technical side. He makes mm -hmm. sure all the te technicians are, you know, his job is, their job's done correctly correctly yeah he's like your lead engineer right he right. goes he, he kevin goes and i'll look at the look at the facility and he'll kind of go okay this is kind of what we want this is the right. install we want to do and then he'll line up all the techs right exactly <laughs> and then i'm actually the one out there marketing um or you know the social media website kind of stuff and then also i'm out there networking that's how I, I met that's you, how you that's how we met is we <laughs> ran into each other at a number of different events over the last year so right. we've known each other for a little while it's a uh, it's been nice the last few guests we've had on the show including Lucy, are people i've known for a while and it's it's nice to nice to give your friends a boost and give them an opportunity to come on TV and talk so so what does KMB communications do and how do you how do you serve the community how do you help people in the community and other businesses well um, KMB communications is a low voltage company um, so we specialize in the installation of data telephone security cameras and surround sound installation uh, we also work with companies to help provide our customers with competitive um, quotes when it comes to their brick and mortars for their telephone and internet pricings um, we make a difference in our clients lives for, by providing them um, with what they need when it comes to pulling out fires um, so let's say their okay. internet comes down or mm -hmm. anything like that we'll you know make sure we go in there and get that internet back up so okay can, so like, you guys have like a you guys will go do the install and you provide that regular maintenance but you've got like an on-call service as well it sounds like right. so so and so tell me about that tell me how you how you provide that service the online service the on-call yeah tell, tell me about oh, like tell me tell me how you've helped a client who is really in a, in a crisis mode okay um, well let's say as I said before if a customer's services are down mm -hmm. um, you know we'll come and you know make sure that they're back up or um, we actually had a customer whose telephone services and their wirings um, were all, you know, jacked up. Fire department came in and said, hey, if you don't fix this wiring, you're going to have to shut down. Okay, and you guys didn't do that wiring, right? No. That, somebody else did that wiring. <laughs> they didn't have to go in and fix their own mistake. They had to go in and fix somebody else's mistake. Exactly. Someone thought that they could do it themselves. Mm -hmm. So we were able, actually able to go in and actually reinstall it mm -hmm. and make sure that it was up to code. Okay, and how long, how quickly were you able to get that company up and running again? Um, that <laughs> quick. 
Um, Kevin was actually the one that dealt with the mm -hmm. customer, um, so I don't know exactly how. Okay. Sorry. Well, but it, it wasn't it wasn't weeks or months. It was, no, you know, it was hours to days, exactly. right? Exactly. Yes. Yeah. So so if you're if you think you might have a problem, they can help you out today. Exactly. So now we were talking over coffee yesterday. It's very different being a business owner than it is being an employee. And I learned that when I came out of the Air Force. I learned that it's very different being a business owner than it is being in the Air Force, and it's very different being an employee. Tell us some of the lessons you've learned from making that change of working corporate, working for somebody else, and then what you've learned by about being a business owner and how different that is. Gosh, it's so many. Uh... Yeah, we've only got four minutes left, so you know, pick your pick your top three or something. But... Right. Um, so in the beginning, um, as I would tell everyone, mistakes will happen. Um, it's just something that you kind of have to get through, um, and um, you know, let the learning process happen. Um, and another thing that you know, learn from your mistakes, um, and then also. What I, the mistake I actually got made was I quit my job too soon. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, make sure that you have that consistent income coming in before you just quit your job uh, when it comes to running your business. Um, and another thing um, is your loved ones may not support you. Um, so, you know, uh, just don't. <laughs> so. Yeah, that's that's a really good one. And it's not that uh, what I have found working, uh, and, and this isn't my own example, but working with, with other businesses, it's not that your loved ones don't typically support you. So they don't, they don't want you to get hurt. They don't want you to be disappointed exactly. in life, right? And that's a good friend of mine talks about that too a lot, Jordan. Um, your, your loved ones don't want you to be disappointed. They don't, they don't want to see you fail. And not everyone understands that to get to the good stuff, you kind of do need to fail a little bit. You need to learn from your mistakes. And so don't be too hard on your loved ones if they're like, I don't know if you should do this. Maybe you should go back to school. Maybe you should have a fallback position. You know, don't, don't be too hard on your loved ones. They're, they're really just looking out for you. Hey, Kyle, glad you're watching. Checking into C. Shea Toya. So Kyle from, from your networking group is here. Yes. And that brings me to another question. So one of the things that we've learned together as business owners is how important networking is to business. How do you use networking to help your business? And how can our audience, our business owners watching, how can they use networking to help grow their businesses? Well, to me, um, networking is huge and critical um, for us to build our business. Um, this is actually how I met Jason, um, was through networking. Um, so for us to build our businesses, we need to be out meeting people and being out in the forces and talking to other business owners so we can meet them is you never know who they know. Very true. You never know you never know who that person's going to be who says, "Hey, I know exactly who you need to be talking right. to." Or I've got someone I've got to introduce you to because it may not be a business lead, but it may be a great personal connection or a social connection or a strategic partner for you in the future. And speaking of that, you guys are branching out a little bit at KMB. You're going to you're going to take some of your marketing know-how and you're going to help other businesses with that under that kind of under that K and B umbrella, but you're going to spin that off a little bit in the future, right? Tell us about what you're doing there and how you're helping other businesses with their marketing. All right. Um, thank you, um, Jason. Um, so pretty much what I'm able to do for other people is help them explain their businesses um, through video. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes with video or with your business, you might have issues expressing it. So I can actually help them and help them with expressing their videos. Okay. Their business. <laughs> All right. So you do, you do explainer videos. Exactly. So, so we've got a little bit of time. If you were to do an explainer video for this show, what would we be talking about here? Um, it depends on what exactly what is it. I feel like every business or every year show would be different. Mm -hmm. um, so it depends on what you would like to get the point across. Okay. So, I mean, if you're looking just to market the time and date, then, of course, I would explain that uh -huh. in either animation or, um, you know, using your vi little bit of videos okay that makes sense yeah so so if i wanted to say well there's a couple things i want to do because with my with this show i like to market my own business i like to get my own brand out there i like to but what i like to do is tell my story through telling other people's stories right because we've got so many great business owners who are working hard to grow their businesses in las vegas and that's what that's what the those are the stories i want to tell because i think those are interesting stories so how could we frame that up in a video um so with the videos um so just depending on what we can <laughs> Um, so with the video, um, you would, we would just show people that um, exactly what is it that you're offering, mm -hmm. um, and then you know sh do it a quick um, video. Okay. So I can you know just show you guys real quick. Okay. Very cool. Very cool. Well, we got a few. We got not quite a minute left. Tell us. Tell our audience. Tell all these people out watching on Facebook Live. Although we know a bunch of them already, but tell them how they can reach you and Kevin. All right. Well, guys. Um. Our to contact us. It's um. Our phone number. Office number is seven zero two. 952-2711. Um, and then if you would like to email me, it's S-S-T-R-E-S-I-N-G at K-A-N-D-B-C-O-M dot com. Thank you.
Okay, and we're gonna have that up in the show notes. So you guys don't have to remember that. You guys will be able to. You guys will be able to just click on that. Uh, do you guys have a? You guys have a web page. Do you guys have, are you guys on social media? Uh, yes, we are on LinkedIn, Facebook, Yelp, okay. all that. So find them there. Search K and B Communications in Las Vegas on social media. I'm Jason LaDuke. We're gonna be right back with Michelle Davis. <laughs>